श्रीनाथसागर ऑनलाईन यूट्यूब चॅनल टू गेट लेटेस्ट व्हिडिओ सबस्क्राईब ऑन दिस चॅनल आज आपण लेन्सेस पण ले एक्सरसाइजमध्ये जे न्यूमेरिकल्स आहेत ते आपण बघूया ते क्वेश्चन नंबर एटमध्ये आहे क्वेश्चन नंबर एट आहे सॉल्व द फॉलोईंग एक्झाम्पल आपल्याला एक्झाम्पल सॉल्व्ह करायचे त्यामधलं फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन आहे डॉक्टर हॅज प्रिस्क्राईब अलाइन्स हॅविंग पावर प्लस वन पॉईंट फाय पावर दिलेली आहे पेक्षा स्मॉलर 
the image is real and inverted and here height is smaller than height of object here height of object is 5 and here height of image is 3.3 which is smaller than object that's why written here the image is real and inverted and smaller than object smaller than object this is answer of second question question number third three lenses having power 2 2.5 and 1.7d are kept touching in row what is the total power of a lens combination here power is given first we written given right here given p1 is equal to 2 then p2 is equal to 2.5 d then p3 is equal to 1.7 d here we calculate the total power of this lens when we calculating the total power of lens the formula is p is equal to p1 plus p2 plus p3 add it put the value of p1 is 2 value of p2 is equal to 2.5 and p3 is 1.7 then add it 2 plus 2.5 we get 4.5 then remaining term is 1.7 when we add this two term we get 6.2 d therefore the total power of lens is equal to 6.2 this is also third question. Fourth question is an object kept 60 cm from a lens gives a virtual image 20 cm in front of the lens. Here first we write the given. Given the distance of object is u is equal to minus 60 cm then image is formed which is another set of the lens taken as positive v is equal to 20 cm then what is the focal length of lens here we find out first focal length of the lens then is it a converging lens or a diverging lens when we find out the focal length at that time this lens is converging or diverging then use formula here when we see the given at the time value of v and u is given that's why we use here lens formula lens formula lens formula is 1 upon f is equal to 1 upon v minus 1 upon u put the values when we put the values then we get 1 upon 20 minus 1 upon minus 60 here minus minus get plus then we get 1 upon 20 plus 1 upon 60 here denominator is different first we uh, here multiply first fraction by 3 then we get denominator as a 60 1 upon f is equal to when we multiply this term by 3 then we get 3 plus 1 upon common denominator 60 add it 3 plus 1 we get 4 upon 60 the value of 1 upon f is equal to 4 upon 60 transpose the term f is equal to 60 upon 4 then divide it by 4 4 ones are 4 4 ones are 4 here 2 is remaining 4 fives are 20 here focal length is equal to 50 meter 50 centimeter here focal length is positive that's why this lens is converging lens therefore this lens is converging lens this is the answer of this fourth question an object kept 60 cm from a lens gives a virtual image 20 cm in front of the lens first we write the given when we write the given at that time the value of u is equal to minus 60 because value of u is always negative because object is always placed on the 
left hand side of the lens. Then it gives the virtual image. Virtual image means the value of V which is negative minus 20 centimeter. Then we will find the focal length of this lens. Question is in front of the lens what is the focal length of the lens and is it a converging lens or diverging? When we find out the focal length according to value of focal length then we identify that the lens is converging or diverging. Then for calculate for calculation here we used lens formula. The lens formula is the lens formula is 1 upon f is equal to 1 upon p minus 1 upon u. Put the values in this formula then we get 1 upon minus 20 minus 1 upon minus 60. Here minus minus get plus that's why we written here 1 upon minus 20 plus 1 upon 60. When we observe this combination at that time the denominator is different for both the fraction first we